to another vlog i'm actually gonna be doing a college week in the life because when i posted my chit chat college get ready with me i did not think you guys were actually gonna be entertained by like the college content i just always thought being that you guys are probably in school yourselves that you don't want to come home and watch somebody else go to school but i mean a lot of y'all was saying y'all was here for the college content it's currently 6 49 i'm already ready for school i'm usually not ready this early but i got up and started getting ready earlier because I couldn't sleep. Honestly, I feel like I'm running pretty good on energy right now, but I know I'm gonna crash when I get home. Today is actually a Friday schedule. On Fridays, I only have one class, which is my major class. A lot of you guys have been asking me also, what do I major in? And I major in business, so I do have a business class today. And it is just a plain old lecture class. I love lecture classes, because they just talk. All you gotta do is listen. There is 60 kids in this class though, so the classroom is usually pretty packed. I try to get there early so I don't get stuck with like a really weird seat. That class doesn't start till nine, and I have some time before I have to leave. I am gonna finish getting ready though because listen, I will literally wait till the last minute and somehow wake up at five in the morning and still be late. So now for a little outfit of the day. Cream Juicy Couture Sweatsu. This is a really old school one. They don't have like any prints or anything. It just has the super pretty rhinestone J. If you watch my Get Ready With Me, then you know sweatsuits are literally my uniform. Like there's no assigned uniform but sweatsuits are my assigned uniform. I got this one about a year ago and I'm surprised it still fits me, especially with all the weight that I've gained in the last year. And then I have on these brown and like cream Starburst Uggs. These are actually my mom's fun fact. I slept on these when these first came out because I felt like they were too girly, but these are, these are it. I really love these Uggs. I call these the heavy duty Uggs because these is forever situated for any situation. Not 100% sure if it's cold enough for me to be wearing these. I feel like these is more for like, very post blizzard what about it does somebody want to fight oh okay i'm actually going to take an uber because i've been talking to my mom for like the past hour and a half so if i take the bus i'm gonna be late i gotta put on my jacket i don't know why i'm putting on my bag like it's springtime and i don't need a jacket so i'm on my way to school now i think i told you guys i was taking uber i definitely did i've been taking like a crazy amount of ubers and i think i might go pick up my rental today i can't keep doing this with the whole uber situation and i'm not gonna lie when i go by car to my school i literally get like an extra hour of sleep an extra hour to get ready whatever you want to call it so that's definitely a thought did bring my macbook for the first time today because i want to sit in the back and hide my camera behind like the screen i also do want to edit so i brought my ipad as well but i forgot my pencil home Friday schedules are always like because I'm literally coming in for one class and I'm here for like two hours and then I'm going right back home. So my first class is actually in the basement so it's not a far walk. Usually my classes are on the third floor so I have to hog up all them stairs. Yeah, yeah, it's your birthday and you know we don't give a fuck it's not your birthday. You should be doing that back in the first place. It's breezing on your head of me. Yeah. Pinky ring red by two PD. You told my Lambo that's drippy. But I left the can't trust these hoes cause they hit me I know that your best friend gon' slide now Party in my house, that's a ride now Rollin' on these hoes like LeBron now She spittin' off the top, that's a freestyle I'm about to turn it up, 100 degrees Got my baby going up, flight up the sea so before we get into the rest of the video, I wanted to come on here and tell you guys about a company called Scentbird. You guys know I love perfumes. I always talk about perfumes. And one of my favorite things to do is try new perfumes. Scentbird actually makes it extremely easy to try out new designer perfumes every month without having to empty out your bank account. So this is what the bottle looks like. You can twist up the top and from here, you can just 
spray your perfume also all you have to do to reveal the perfume is just pull it up and you get a very very generous amount of perfume keep in mind i've been using this and then again just super easy to put back in and twist down i did get four perfumes for this month and i was kind of aiming for the woody scent so this first one is sandalwood and oak by sense of wood so it does obviously have that wood smell but you can kind of smell hints of like vanilla or like a sugary kind of maple smell. The next fragrance is Wood For Her by D Square 2. I told you guys I was really feeling the wood smells. So although this one has a woody fragrance, it also has like these undertones of like florals and almost citrusy. This next one is Wool by Commodity and I'm just here to tell y'all, this is one of my favorites. I do feel like I could smell some lavender and also vanilla in this, but it, it just has that like fresh, spicy kind of smell. Now last but not least, this one is Electric Wood from Room 1015. This one kind of smells like nutmeg. It also does have like this kind of lemony citrus smell kind of like hiding underneath. I can get down with this one. This one's giving me more like a daytime vibe. So if you guys decide to try Scentbird for yourself, you guys can get 30% off your first month by using my code Jaji Dior again for 30% off. All the names and links to the fragrance that I chose will be down in the description box just in case you guys are interested in trying out my perfumes. And last but not least, I'm gonna give a thank you to Scentbird for partnering up with me on today's video. I just got back in from school and I stopped at the post office because I owe you guys a PO box unboxing. I have a couple of them that are already open because I've tried to do this before in a different video but it kind of flopped or I probably scrapped the video but I want to make sure to give you guys your exposure. I also did get two new packages today so I'm going to open those as well. If I seem a little bit loopy, I'm really tired and I'm ready to take my after school nap so that's that. This first one is by Laid by Lay. She sent me two bonnets. They're both like custom. This one is just a pink one and it has my name and sparkles on like the bands she also does have lbl which stands for laid by lay of course this one actually comes with like the head wrap part because you know bonnets be slipping off your head sometimes when you sleep and then on this one she has laid by lay across the top these are really good material of course these are really good for your hair if you guys don't know what bonnets are for i'm sure y'all know what bonnets are for though blossom beauty it's from a girl named kayla it's two lip glosses this is the pink one and then she also sent a clear one which actually has like holographic butterflies in it which is really cute this reminds me of the lorax which fun fact if y'all don't know the lorax is my favorite disney movie this reminds me of, like the little trees and i've actually gotten a paper planner so this is gonna be really cute i'm gonna be living my 90s dream right with this so this is cute too this hair oil which i'm gonna assume it's probably like for hair growth or like to, you know strengthen your hair or something along the lines of that it says the word bell on it so i want to say that it's probably like the bell hair oil maybe she has different ones i'm not 100 percent sure but make sure to go shop with her as well so this girl was actually the first person to send me anything to my p.o box so she made me feel real special her brand is lux melanin co and she sent me two items over this virgo rhinestone necklace it's actually layered so these are connected i think it was a mistake that she sent me this i think she meant to send me another item i'm actually a leo for you guys that don't know but i think i'm just gonna give this to somebody i know that is a virgo and i have one person in mind she also sent me this lip gloss which i don't know if you guys can tell but i've literally been using it like crazy since the day that it got sent to my p.o box it doesn't even really feel like lip gloss it feels more like a lip balm she also sent me a note like just explaining her brand and everything and you guys can actually use code jaji for some money off these stickers of like a bunch of black girls because her brand is lux melanin so you know it's all about having melanin and being lux you know expensive i have one more for the past packages and then i'm gonna get into the two new packages that i just got today this girl's instagram is jinsu vanity closet underscore and she sent me a couple things actually the package there's this little box and inside of it she has some like bracelets and other pieces of jewelry first she sent me this evil eye necklace which a lot of people have been wearing this this is like a really trendy piece of jewelry and you know evil eye ward off the bad energy and then in this bag she sent me a couple of like these beaded bracelets wooden beads some of them look like they're actually made out of like stones which are really cute i'm really into like just gold and silver jewelry so i don't really do like the beaded bracelets but i think these are so neutral like they even go in my outfit now i just think i don't know i'm gonna keep these on for the rest of the video she also sent over this charm bracelet which already actually has charms on it that just saves you the hassle of having to go out and buy charms like when you get pandora bracelets you gotta buy each charm and each charm is like 30 dollars <laughs> I don't got that type of money. He also did send me a new bathing suit, which I've been in need for a bathing suit because y'all know I've gained a little bit of weight, so sometimes my bottoms don't fit me anymore because, you know, it's getting a little heavier. These bottoms are actually a size small, but they have adjustable size, so I feel like this would also fit me if I do gain a little bit more weight because this don't really look like a small to me because I'm a medium now, and this looks like it'll fit me perfectly fine. This is the Burberry-inspired pattern, and I've actually been wanting to get a Burberry bathing suit 
but they're like $300 so I'm glad that she sent me this little dupe. Last but not least she sent me a pair of sunglasses. What a gave? These sunglasses are giving me Peabody. I'm really pushing peonies but yeah so these are how they look on me and um this is the last thing she sent me so this first one is from polish skin organics they dm me on instagram and told me that they sent me some stuff my name is chantelle i'm the owner of polish skin organics a small black owned business that specializes in skincare and body care products consider this a gift from me to you i hope to do business with you in the future i hope you enjoy the products feel free to share on your social media follow us on instagram at polish skin organics so make sure to go follow them she also told me to tell you guys that you guys can use jaja dior for 10 percent off you guys purchase first of all this package smells mad good is that weird she sent me one of her lip glosses it's like yellow tinted i'm pretty sure when you apply this it's gonna come on clear i'm always a fiend for lip gloss like i literally go into the beauty supply store and pick up 50,000 of them so you guys are helping aid in my addiction then she sent me these these look super cute these are both whipped body butters and look how cute these are they're like pipes in like they look like frosting it tells you all the ingredients on the bottom so you know it's very transparent you guys know everything that's being put into the things that you're putting on your body which i think is really cool this one is called strawberries by the pound <sighs> this literally smells like strawberry shortcake this is so good this one is i like this one this one's actually called sexy kisses i want to see if this one's gonna top strawberry because honestly i got a thing for strawberries this one just smells very clean like this one doesn't have any like super sweet smells because i know some people don't really like their body to smell sweet i don't know which one i like better Dang. i think this one's gonna be the winner for me i think i like sexy kisses the best i think this one smells really good next box was from a great wax club and i don't know who wrote this label but you have really nice handwriting this is from a wax club and I'm hoping that it has nothing to do with wax because I'm so scared to wax. Oh, this packaging is so nice. Oh, I love... I think this is for my hoochie mama. When you open the box, this is what it looks like. It says, club rule, believe you are great. When I first opened it, this is the first thing I saw, which if you're a female, then you know what this is. Look, just more nice handwriting. Like, look how nice this is. Hey, Jaji, we're so excited for you to try our Yoni collection. Our products are all natural, organic, and have a wow factor we know you'll love. We can't wait to hear your feedback. Enjoy Mo from Great Wax Club. And by Yoni, they made your hoochie mama. <laughs> they did send me a couple products from the Yoni collection, and these are just designed so nicely. There's a Yoni cleansing wash, which I'm gonna assume is just, you know, something you use in the shower. It tells you, again, all the ingredients, and everything looks pretty natural nothing that you can't really pronounce pour a small amount on your hand or washcloth put it on your intimate areas and you know just a normal wash that you would use yoni herbal oil which i'm not sure how to use an oil it's ph balancing and moisturizing last but not least they did send suppositories now me as a female i've actually never used suppositories it's ph balancing and it promotes vaginal health it's just you know you gotta stay clean out here the ingredients are boric acid which i actually have heard that they're good for you know your downstairs area i gotta read up on these because i don't know 100 percent about these so definitely gotta research so they also did include this card of course it has the information website everything instagram make sure you guys also go shop with them especially just because of the cute packaging like if you're gonna shop for anything shop for some very aesthetically pleasing packaging so that's all that was in my po box if you guys don't know i promote small businesses on my channel for free of course you guys can send me whatever you want to send me and i'll do a po box unboxing like i just did i'm pretty sure i already put my information up on the screen when i first started the unboxing but i'm gonna put it up here again just in case you guys are interested in sending me anything you guys will be featured in the next po box unboxing now that i'm done unboxing everything i have a bunch of stuff to clean up and my room already was a mess so now it's just like double the mess like i said i also told you guys i am tired i want to take my after school nap but i have a japanese quiz in two days that i have not studied for so i have to kind of get some studying in because if i leave it all to the night before i don't know what's gonna happen i'm gonna go take my sweatsuit off change into something more comfortable take a shower wash my face you know just settle in so it's actually the next day 4 p.m i just got back from college and actually i didn't just get back from college i've been home for like two hours but I was binge watching P Valley. <laughs> so I actually did film a little bit of my morning, but I was like running just a teensy weensy bit late. So I just decided to like scrap it midway. But I did get some 
Krispy Kreme on my way home. So like I said, I have been home for a little minute now. It's actually 4 p.m. and I've been waiting for my package to come from Fashion Nova. Packages did just get here. The mailman came upstairs and dropped them off and it's actually in both of these packages. I did decide on wanting to do a Valentine's Day lookbook. So I ordered a lot of heels and just real dressy stuff. So being that there's so many shoe boxes, they had to ship it in bigger packaging this time. Um, so I'm actually gonna take this to my room and show you guys like one or two items because I want you guys to still watch the haul. Back in my room, I obviously changed my attire. Had to get out of that. I need, listen, this is how I really dress. I dress like a boy, a preteen, an adolescent. My room is kind of a mess, but are you new here? Do you even go here? <laughs> so this is the first pair that I got. Oh, look how cute those are. They like a little like caramel color. It has a gold heel. Oh, hold on, wait. I'm gonna put these on my feet. This is giving me like a Cinderella moment. But these look so good. I wanna show you guys, but like my feet are on Cinderella and my legs are on Beauty and the Beast. I forgot to shave. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, these is cute for a 30 second picture. I am not standing in these for more than two seconds. My feet are sweating. No, but get into the details though. Um, this gives me like the Tom Ford heels. Like it gives me that vibe. So pretty. And then these last ones are just so cute. These give me like vacation vibes for sure. Like I think they'll definitely be good for that. But with the outfit that I planned, this is just like such a cute pop of color. Reminds me of those heels that Jada Wade wore. The ones with like the asymmetrical heel. But I'm sure that those cost a pretty penny. But yeah, again, this is just, you know, heeled sandal nice fuchsia pink. I kind of got this to match my toe bar. Shh, don't say too much <laughs> so i'm about to start cleaning up i'm probably gonna take all the outfits out and put them together put them in my closet because i don't like to have these big boxes just laying around I also do have a business conference call top on at five so i would like to try to get this done before then but we'll see welcome to google meet enter the meeting pin followed by the pound key thank you you have joined the call but you are the only one here Time wise, I don't think it's really an issue time wise. I kind of started it on like a whim. Ugh. I'm done. Conference call was a success. I still always get so nervous when getting on conference calls because I feel like I'm gonna say the wrong thing. It's so real, but I love it. Like this is genuinely like one of my favorite parts about being an influencer. Like just being able to work with brands and and just like hearing how people talk about the value of what you create is just like like, you really think, like, what? Yeah, so that conference call was definitely a success. We scheduled another conference call for Thursday around the same time. And this vlog should be extending to Thursday. So I'm probably going to record that one again. As for right now, again, I have to do more cleaning. I didn't take an after school nap. So it's 5.32 and I'm ready to crash. I know if I go to sleep now, though, that at night I'm going to be super done. But I might just film my fashion overhaul tonight. Decisions, decisions. The second verse is dedicated to the man. More concerned with his rims and his hymns and his women. Him and his men come in the club like who the dance. Don't care who they your fan, pop and yeah. Let's not pretend the one to pack pissed out by the waist, man. Chris out by the case, man. The name of the space, man. The pretty face, man. Claiming that they did a bit, man. Need to take care of their three and four kids, man. The face in court case when the child supports late. Money taking heart breaking, now you wonder why women hate me. The sneaky silent, man. Punk domestic violence, man. The quick to shoot the team and stop acting like boys and be men. How you gon' win when you ain't right with them? How you gon' win when you ain't right with them? Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another day. It is Thursday, and I just hopped off of a conference call because I am 
doing something special it is 4 30 which means i have obviously come out of school already and i didn't vlog too much today because i had a tuesday thursday schedule my tuesday thursday schedule is usually math and japanese which my math class is really engaging so i'm always taking notes and i just don't really have any room to kind of record for my japanese class i had a quiz which i completely bombed i did not think that test was going to look like that it looked way different like i feel like i studied for a whole different test honestly i'm actually thinking about dropping Japanese just because I don't feel like I can handle it this semester there's so many things going on there's so many new things I'm working on and I just don't really have the time to study um the amount of hours she wants us to study a week to you know succeed in Japanese I'm thinking about either picking up a different language or just taking Japanese in the fall semester um but right now me and my mom are about to head to Target you're interrupting my vlog I need to pick up more coffee and honestly, any chance I get to go to Target, I'm not gonna decline it, so. Yeah, I'm gonna my sword to my flat and overdrive 